Hey everybody, this is Andy here from We Are On Gaming, and this is episode 12 of my Pokemon Crystal Let's Play. So, if you remember, the last title was Taking Things from Strange Old Men. Well, in this episode, we're going to do that. Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left the scratch. The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry. Take it. And we just got HM3, which is Surf, which will be great for my water Pokemon. And I'm going to teach my Croak and all that right now. Steve. Wow, he's really strong. Uh, we are going to do the Water Gun. Surf is just a stronger move than Water Gun. It's more than two times more powerful. It is a very strong move to have this early, this early in the game. So, it's only 6 o'clock here, which means 6 o'clock in this game. Wow, okay. And it's already dark outside. That only happens in the winter where I live. It gets dark at like 5.30 where I live in the winter, which is really depressing. I just always get so depressed in the winter. Like, I don't get super depressed. I just be like, oh man, I kind of want summer. So I believe we can challenge the gym now. More to the gym leader's absent. Sorry, but you'll have to leave. <laughs> How is that so funny? Oh, I know what we need to do. This part of the game is kind of tricky. There's, there's a lot of parts in this game where you can you can do a bunch of you can do two things at once because the story is not like fully interconnected. You can go off on like separate side missions. Ah. Uh, there we go. We're going into Burnt Tower. Eugene, my name is Eugene. I'm on the trail of Pokemon named Suicune, and you are Andy. Glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is in this burnt tower, so I came to look. But where exactly could it be? Oh, foreshadowing. Ecrotique's gym leader has to study what are said to be the legendary Pokemon Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. Eugene is here, so I've decided to investigate the tower with him. Oh, wild Pokemon. Coughing, and it's not shiny. I believe there are. I don't think there are any trainers in here. Oh, I went the wrong way. Perfect. Top percentage Rattata. Hmm. What can I talk about? This helps stimulate my mind. I know it's unprofessional, but it helps stimulate my mind when I ask myself. Oh, there he is. The ginger kid, Carrot. I always name my rivals like Dick Face or Ass Face or something in the name, in the game. And then, especially in like Pokemon Boofer, she's like, Oh, you guys now I remember my grandson's name was, was Dick Face or something. Weird. I have the coolest freaking computer background right now. It's just like all the links from The Legend of Zelda put into a cool desktop. Oh, it's you? I came looking for some legendary Pokemon that said Bruce here. But there's nothing here. Nothing after all the trouble of coming to this dump. No way. It's all your fault. And he wants to battle. Because everything's my fault. Carrot wants to battle. So of course he is a haunter, but he doesn't have any friends, so no one will trade him so he can get a Gengar. I guess if this was Pokemon Blue version, we wouldn't be able to attack him. Oh yeah, Curse? Curse is an interesting move. It it, it um It works differently on ghost types. Ghost types will will take out half their health. But in turn, they get to put a curse on you, which takes away one fourth of your health every turn. Any other type, it just raises your attack and defense and lower speed. I believe that's correct. 
And he probably couldn't attack me because I'm a normal type, and I completely forgot about this part of the game. Here we go. Yes, I'm going to switch out, because I have a curse and I'd not be very effective. This is a good time for D to come out. I haven't been talking about Pokemon a lot in this LP, so I I guess I'll try to do that this episode. But still tell interesting quirks about my life. Stuff that goes on. Oh yes! Oh man! Oh, we were doing so well. The thing about this LP is, like, the reason that episodes are scarce is because I have, I've been having problems getting into this LP. Like, Super Mario Sunshine, I was like, hell yeah, I'll record, let's go, up and at him, let's go, up and at him. But this one, I'm having, like, trouble. Like, uh, okay, I guess I'll record some, some, uh, Pokemon Crystal, I'll record, like, two episodes. That's what I'm trying to do, I'm... This is the first episode, I'm going to try to record like 5 episodes tonight, so I don't have to go a week with updating. So yeah, I'm at the boring part of the game right now. When your Pokemon are, are young, and they're just not very strong, and everything takes so long to do. I'm at that part of the game. And... So it'll be hard to get... Once I get later... I'm sure I will get into the game more, and it will be a lot easier to play. Uh... Just quick attack, yeah. I just know that once I get past this hump, it will be a lot easier to start playing. Because my Pokemon are young, it's, it's just spamming moves. The gym leaders are really hard. They're supposed to be hard, but not not as hard as Whitney was. Whitney was incredibly difficult. It was it was painful on how difficult she was. And it, it, it's she's hard because she gets a lot of she gets a lot of luck. The first two gym leaders, you saw them. I flew through them and laughed the whole way through. And then just the difficulty just freaking spikes. Level 100. No, I'm just kidding. They were like, she was like level 25 or something. I don't remember. Oh, live, live, live. Yes. Alright, I forgot. This is the Johto. You take damage after... Yeah, I remember that. From Pokemon Stadium, if you're poisoned, I believe you take uh, damage after you give the hit. But she's gonna di or he's gonna die on the way to the Pokemon Center. Oh, I missed his dialogue. Damn it. Just spamming the A button. Oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Oh! Trapdoor! <laughs> what are you doing falling into a hole? Some genius you are. It serves you right. How fitting. Oh my gosh! Legendary Pokemon. And there's wild Pokemon down here. Still keeping my out for, my eye out for shinies. And also notice that Suicune is on the cover of this game, which would make it fitting. Okay, we can't even get this stuff. I'll just go do this. Oh, there's three of them. Listen. Oh, that spriting is so bad. They're literally squares. Wow, that was bad. That spriting was embarrassing. I wow, like I get it. It's a freaking Game Boy Color game. I get it, but come on, they could have done a little bit better. Than that. I mean, granted, the in battle sprites are very good in this. Oh, there's you seen very good in this game. Oh man. Like, the in-battle sprites like that are really good, and they move, so that takes up, like, a lot of memory, but... I dug a hole here, too. I was shocked! Suicune raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes! For ten years I chased Suicune, and I finally got to see it. I'm all choked up. Andy, I owe this all to you. Thank you. 
I heard that the legendary Pokemon of Ecruteak test chosen humans by allowing them to get close. I'm going to track Suicune, and let's meet again. Farewell. That guy's acting like he just lost his virginity. Like, I've been following this girl for like eight, like eight months, and then she finally was drunk enough to let me have intercourse with her. I need to go to the Pokemon Center. After I talk to this dude. In the distant past, there was towers burning the fire. Three named Pokemon perishing it. A rainbow colored Pokemon descended from the sky and resurrected them. It's all it's a legend that's been passed down by Ecuador gym leaders. Me? I was a trainer way back then. <laughs> I don't know why I ended at the end. He's just old and he seems like he's kind of the person that would choke on his own spit while he's laughing at youngsters. I can't imagine what it's like to be old. What it's like knowing that you're at like the last like couple steps of your life. And there's a lot of things that you can't do anymore, like skydive. That's a cliche one. Everyone wants to skydive. It's cool, I guess, but So I guess you can challenge the gym leader if everything goes alright. Yeah, it's an invisible path. Can you inflict any damage on a Pokemon? I said Pokemon like a British guy. Sage Ping wants to battle. Oh, such a fitting name. Ghastly. I believe the T is silent. silent. Okay, which kind of reminds me of a funny story. Which, about Ghastly, it's not about Ghastly, but it has something to do with that it's kind of similar to Ghastly. But Ghastly, the T is silent, you say like Gas, and then Lee. At least I think so. But the word, now we look at the word clothes. C-L-O-T-H-E-S. Okay, my whole life until about a, of a year ago, I thought the word was close. Just close. You say close, like C-L-O-S-E. I thought you said it like that. I just thought that the TH was silent. But no, it's clothes. I had no idea. Okay, don't judge me. I know everybody's judging me. Is there a word that you've been saying wrong your whole life until somebody finally pointed it out? Luckily, I finally realized this myself. No one had to point it out for me. But. That would have been embarrassing if somebody would have told me, oh no, it's clothes, it's not clothes. I don't know why it would be embarrassing, it just it just seems like it would be. Gaslies keep giving me the Herbert Family Guy look with the mean look. What is up with this? Okay, yes, I know, he can't escape. He doesn't want to escape, he's a normal type. He has every advantage over you. Yeah! What is that? 15 more levels until, uh. Frickin'. Pidgeot? If the, if the next one uses Mean Look, I'm just gonna say that the AI. Yup! Okay. It may be the only move that he could use, because I believe they have Lick, but that, that might be just it. And since Pidgeotto is a nor normal flying type. It, uh, is resistant to, uh, ghost. Which reminds me, I need to do a new Pokemon Facts video very soon. It's been like three months. I feel kind of bad. Oh, he killed, he killed his last Pokemon. Oh, that's funny. The AI is just so bad. It's so bad. I don't want to play... Turning Pidgey anymore. I want to turn Zippo. Yeah, Deep can't. A uh, Deep can do. Yeah, we'll send out Deep. He has Pursuit. That's his only. This game is actually very hard to. What? Stumped by our invisible floor? Defeat me if you want to. Kind of a trial and error thing, you know. Oh gosh, she's a crazy cat lady. 
definitely. Oh, Haunter's got a. Oh wow, Haunter got a new cry in the next in the later gens. I did not know that. I think I had a fact on Haunter in my fact series. I'm just gonna keep you in pursuit until you switch. Until you're screwed. Yeah, it keeps spiting me. Wow, we're already at ten. You got a lucky five. There we go, level 19. If somebody told me something about Deep on, in the comments that I thought, I think is interesting to bring up. I, don't quote me on this, but I believe they said that they no longer use Deep in Bug Spray, which, that's what I, I remember it, it used to go camping on it, like RVs, and my mom had like a 100% Deep can, which is like illegal. All oh, paralyzed. How can licking somebody? How can whatever? I'm not. Even, I can't even talk. What? Fury Cutter is actually if I can't hit him if he. Okay. If he if he would have used spite, I wouldn't have been able to hit him. And there we go. And I. I think this is a good time to end this episode because I find that in my own LP experience, uh, if a video is longer than 17 minutes, I just, I have trouble watching it. I just start skipping through it until the part that I came to watch it. So, um, thank you so much for watching, and as always, deuces.